Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I've got another store review. The way these videos are structured, the way it works is we take a look at a proven, successful, profitable Shopify store and we take a look, a good look through their setup. So we'll take a look at what their best selling products are, we'll take a look at their ad creatives, we'll take a look at their Shopify store and basically I'll just walk you through everything that they're currently doing, talking out loud, pointing out the sorts of things that we can learn from them and ultimately take and implement to improve our own businesses. This store is called bonowellness.com and it's actually a store that has sold successfully on flipper.com for $9,000. The results, the level this store has got to is modest in comparison to some of the other stores I've reviewed. However, to get to those higher levels, you have to get to this level first. Plus, when you see the amount of time invested into this business to run it each week and the return that it's producing, when you actually kind of pro rata things, it works out a very healthy return on your money, on your time, sorry, on your time invested. With that being said then, Let's jump in and take a look at some of the numbers. So the business we're gonna be reviewing today is bonowellness.com. They are in the wellness space, obviously, but more specifically in selling an aid that helps people sleep better. It's a massive, massive market that is definitely growing in popularity. And it's also a market that is very closely linked to other things like anxiety, depression, and mental health, and stress, those sorts of things. So it's it's got massive scope and massive potential. This is a branded drop shipping store, so they're not selling a white label product. A white label product is basically something off AliExpress. It's something that doesn't have any particular company's logo on. It's a product that anybody can sell. This shouldn't put you off watching the rest of the video and seeing what you can learn from these guys because ultimately i believe at least this is where everybody should be aiming and striving towards when you get to this point onwards then it becomes a lot easier it's a lot easier to be successful when you have a private labeled product a branded drop shipping store versus a white label one i spoke about it in my previous video so i won't mention it too much today but the more you can separate yourself apart from 95% of people who will just be drop shipping a private label product, the increase in your chances of success are a lot higher. They are focusing on a US customer base, so anything you take and learn from this, you could potentially take to another country and replicate the same success. Be managed from anywhere, like any drop shipping business, of course. And this is how long it takes to run this business each week, just four hours per week which takes us onto this, the monthly profit. So they're making about three grand a month working just four hours per week. So that's a pretty decent return on your investment of time. There's not many jobs, if at all, any jobs out there that you could walk into on that sort of wage, just working four hours per week. This of course frees up lots and lots of time to do what you would prefer to do in your spare time, spend time with your family, spend time on the golf course if you're me, or use that time to work on other stores and other businesses. So well researched 15 plus products which work in synchronicity for upselling and cross-selling like I mentioned when you're talking about sleep and mental health and anxiety and stress. There's lots and lots of different other avenues and things linked in, in there which opens up other opportunities and avenues for different products of course. They have a high average order value of $88. This is such an important number to keep in the back of your mind. If you're trying or relying on direct selling of a $30 product, it's always gonna be difficult to make that profitable. You need to learn strategies like upsells and cross sales, which are the basic go-to ones for squeezing as much money out of your customers as possible. Their customer base is pretty much 90% USA and 11% Canada, Australia, and Mexico. So zero market here or zero customer base from the UK. What does well in the UK tends to do well in the USA and vice versa. Optimize logistics, ensure fast shipping time. So USA two to five days, which is awesome. Instantly, anybody trying to sell this same product that doesn't have it private labeled or can't deliver it in two to five days is gonna go to the bottom of the pile when it comes to choices of companies to buy this product from, from a consumer standpoint of view. Then you might be thinking, 
it's difficult to go to that. How do you actually do that? What you do is you create a branded Shopify store and try and drop ship something successfully for two or three weeks. And when you are comfortable and confident in your ability to sell a product, then you invest more money into it. And you invest that money into places like branding the product, private labeling the product, ordering 100 units and getting it shipped to a 3PL. And what this does is it significantly increases your bottom line, your profit margins, which then allows you to invest into more stock, into better marketing creatives. I think where a lot of people maybe come to a shortfall is their aim is to start a business that they can try and take money out of as soon as possible, whereas you should if you can afford to, of course, be planning on not taking a single penny out of your business, at least for the first few months, so you can keep reinvesting as much as possible to help you build it as much as possible. Their main supplier is an agent in China who manages the entire logistics. So I don't know if that's going from China direct to consumer, so if they are still drop shipping or not. Um, it'd be interesting to know, maybe we'll find out in a second. So they take care of shipping the products, oh so they do, so they must be shipping directly from China to the consumer, so they must have some form of avenue of shipping which allows them to do that. And they also handle returns and taking pictures of new products as well, which is absolutely awesome. Here we go. So the supplier has access to warehouses in both China and USA, consequently USA customers receive their products within a few days, so they're not going from China to USA. I thought, I did think that, and it's a bit of a stretch for that kind of pace. So they could be working with somebody like CJ Dropshipping. They have warehouses in all of the big kind of Western countries, they have warehouse and Eastern, they, or all of the main kind of dropshipping um, hotspots. So they do have warehouses in the USA, in Canada, in Australia, in England. Uh, Germany they have quite a few in Europe as well so that's how they're doing it when you get to a certain level with CJ or, or you're willing to make the investment you can commit to X amount of stock and pay for it to be shipped to a local warehouse which is exactly what these guys are do have done whether they're doing it with CJ or not they don't say customers and traffic then the main traffic sources are meta ads we'll be taking a look at those in a second so you'll be able to see exactly what ad creatives are responsible for generating 40k of profit and here's their financial statistics then from the past 12 months 176k in revenue from rounding up of course um, and $39,000 in annual profit and modest yes in some ways in comparison to some of the stores that I look at however I would guess, hazard a guess, most people watching this video would be more than happy with a business that makes them about 40k a year if they were only working four hours per week. Imagine the extra time you would have to invest into other stores, into other businesses, and the quality of life you would have. Let's jump onto their Shopify store then and take a look at what a business of this caliber looks like. So first thing you'll notice is original content, somebody holding the product, not just a generic stock photo that anybody in the world can use. They have these big names which they're name dropping to kind of piggyback off the reputation because obviously they're household names people will have heard of so naturally that kind of level of trust will transfer somewhat onto these guys. They have their product box here with their logo on which again is just a really good way of showing how legitimate and how much of a proper business they are. They also on Trustpilot too so it'd be interesting to know when their Trustpilot rating came about or when they registered for that versus when they were a dropshipping store previously if they were a dropshipping store previously but 4.3 is really really good and if we can go back we can see this is how the products arrive so not actually branding the products it's just the packaging which is actually a relatively straightforward thing to do you don't have to spend much time researching to find suppliers that are able to do this for you if we use our handy koala expector i'm going to products and then best selling products, and we'll take a look at what their best selling product is. So, the average order value, if we remember, was $88. They're selling this for $70. So, maybe people, some people are buying two of these things, or they mentioned a couple of times about the use of upsells and cross sales. So, maybe as we go through the checkout process, we'll get hit with an upsell or cross sell offer to try and encourage us to spend a little bit more. There we go. So, it's a case for you to put it in the perfect, perfect cross sell you can purchase the product and then get a protective case so you can bring it with you wherever you go so this is exactly what i was talking about about squeezing as much 
money as possible out of each and every customer. If somebody is willing to commit and spend $70 on a product, getting them to spend an extra $18, which means they can then look after that product and keep it in pristine condition or travel with them very easily, then it's a no brainer. It'd be really good to see what the uptake rate is actually on that cross sell offer. Let's go through the product page then and see what's what. So one recurrent theme you'll see in a lot of successful dropshipping stores is the use of social proof. Just that reiteration of how good the product is. The advertising, their delivery times in two to five days, which is super, super important because people are becoming savvy now to dropshipping stores, it's just a fact. So by displaying these things, 50,000 plus happy customers is instantly kind of setting themselves apart and saying to people, hey, we're not a typical dropshipping store that you have to worry about shopping with and cross your fingers and hope our product's gonna be delivered. We've sold over 50,000 things at these to happy customers and we're gonna do it in two to five days time as well. As we move down, there's somebody holding the product, more social proof, more social proof. We've partnered with Professor, an expert in sleep disorders, so more social proof. How to use Bono Sleep as seen on, more social proof. More social proof saying they've partnered with a doctor. They have screenshots of people's comments on Facebook, more social proof. They have four different reviews. They have a video review here from somebody. It's just social proof after social proof. They have a how does Bono Sleep compare against sleeping pills, so more and more social proof. Everything they do is painting their picture of their product to be superior to everybody else's. And when we actually get down into the looks reviews or the A reviews, whichever app they've used, again, the product itself isn't actually private labeled, which makes me think this could just be readily available to source and get up and running from AliExpress. Let's jump onto the Facebook ad library and see the ad creatives they've been using. So 150 results, that's one recurring pattern with every single Shopify store that I look at that's really successful is the level of testing they've gone to to find what really works for them. Let's take a look at this Order video. Order versus ad. what I got. With Bono Wellness, their handheld sleep aid is truly the best thing ever. It helps me fall asleep at night and calms me down when I'm overstressed. The best part is that it's a drug-free, science-backed method for curing insomnia. So two things there. It's science-backed, which is obviously important because people want to know it's actually going to work. And drug-free as well, which obviously more, most people are going to lean towards because they don't want to be putting chemicals and things like that in their body. This is the hook. What I ordered versus what I got. With Bono Wellness, their hand So they're addressing that issue that they're assuming most people will have ordered something online from a Facebook ad and been a bit hesitant about whether they're gonna receive it or not. So they're addressing that by saying, look, this is the website I went onto. This is what I ordered. Versus what I got. And With Bono what I actually Wellness, their handheld is sleep aid is truly the best thing ever. It helps me fall asleep at night and calms me down when I'm overstressed. The best part super, is that it's super a super easy content to create for yourself as long as you don't mind being on camera. I can't imagine my life without it. What I ordered versus what I got. And that's that, just 17 Bono seconds long. Very simple, straight to the true. point and does the job. As we scroll down through, they have like a mixture of these different, like they have like a Q&A type thing. And then if we click that, it actually takes us to this different landing page, which I've not seen before, which is interesting. So they're not only split testing ad creatives, but they're split testing landing pages too. I don't know about you. Let's take a look at this one. Good night's sleep. The older I get, the harder it is. I have a full active lifestyle. I should sleep all night, but I don't. But I found bonus sleep. So what she's doing there is not random, it's most likely a script that she's been reading from and what she's basically doing is in these first kind of like five or six seconds she's trying to connect with the audience so she's saying I how you. i don't know about you but i want a but good, night's sleep. good night's sleep everybody watching this video wants a good night's sleep the older i get the harder it is i have a full active life she's mentioned that she's aging or getting older which is probably their target I market still to sleep all night but i don't she's saying she has a busy lifestyle which pretty much everybody does have a busy lifestyle nowadays too so instantly there's three things there that people are going to watch this and think oh my god this is me but i found bonus sleep and then this is me and this is how i solved my it bonus wellness is this in the palm of your hand it sends some electronic therapy to your brain and it warms up and it helps to relax you at night and helps to give you a better night's sleep. I used it for about two weeks consistently and then I started getting a really consistent night's sleep. 
on a consistent basis. So try it. Bonus sleep. I don't know about you, but I'm looking for a good It looks very, sleep. very scripted um, in my mind. Not very natural, but it's something that they tested. Whether it worked out or not, it's hard to say because we can't see the level of engagement and clicks and revenue that it generated. But if you're ever in doubt about anything to do with your business, then just test it because you will never truly, truly know until you test something. And as we can see here, so women over 50, skin over 50s, we can clearly see this is their target market. So they're being very, very specific with who they're trying to sell this product to, which is key when you're trying to sell on such a busy platform or when you're trying to sell on social media, because if you have a too broad of a marketing message, it's not gonna land on anybody. Whereas if you have something super specific, then it will land on somebody. And with that being said then guys, I'm gonna call it there on the video. Hopefully I've given you some ideas and inspiration and motivation to take action and build your own business. If you would like some help building that business from scratch, whether it's finding a product, finding a supplier, launching it, creating ad creators, building a Shopify store, or launching your very first Facebook ads, then I wanna invite you to something just for you. And when I say just for you, it's because you're still watching this video. So I do have a mentorship program and I keep the invitation for it at the end of the videos because I only want people who are serious about dropshipping to see this message. If I put it at the beginning, then everybody's gonna see it. The people who just skip through videos and don't really take anything in and don't really take action, I don't want to work with those people. I want to work with the people who are patient enough to watch the entire video, to make notes, who are proactive and serious about starting a dropshipping business, then you are the person that I want to work with. If you'd like to have a chat with me to see how I can help, what you need to do is go to the link below this video and see this mentorship link. If you click that, it's gonna take you to this page here. It's a series of six or seven questions. It takes a couple of minutes. It's an opportunity for me to get to know what level you're at now and, it, and where you want to be in one, two or three months time with my help. If it's a realistic and achievable goal and you've got a good attitude and you're motivated, it will take you through to my calendar where we can book a time and date to jump on a Google Meet and have a chat and see what's what. If that sounds good to you, head over there now, book in that call, and I look forward to meeting you. Thanks.